that's why. Hello, hello, everyone. It's so fun to see faces on the screen. Um, some I know really well, some I love very much, um, and some who are kind of new to me. Um, Beth and I are super excited that you're all here, and um, we have some really fun information for you. I'm, I get to share um, five products with you that I am absolutely gaga for. Um, and then Beth is going to uh, give you another five products. My five products really delve into some basic anti-aging skincare and then a way to kick it up a notch. And then Beth is going to talk to you um, all about travel or for our jet setters, five products that you're going to want to have on the go. So for my five and five, I am starting off with, whoa, sorry, I'm dropping things. That's just how it goes sometimes. All right. I'm starting off with this beautiful set right here. This is our TimeWise Miracle Set. You will see that it has four products in it, but it's just three steps. The first is um, our four-in-one cleanser. Um, the second is our antioxidant moisturizer. These two things you use morning and night every single day. That's right. We got to wash our faces morning and night. In the morning, you want to get off all the sweat uh, that, you know, from overnight, the anything else that happens to you overnight to your face that you want to get off, any touching of your face, we want to get all that grime off and have a fresh face to start the day. And then at night, we want to get off any makeup we may have put on, but also pollution that has come across our face from our environment. Um, the more uh, uh, clo the closer to a city you live, the more pollution you might have um, on your face. But we all touch our face 16 times an hour, I heard um, in one report. And um, our fingers touch money and doorknobs. We want to get that off. So we're going to do this morning and night. And then in the morning, you're going to end your routine with um, SPF 30. That's going to protect you from other environmental factors that can accelerate aging on your face. Oh, we want to fight that. Only 20% of vi visible skin aging is natural. So we want to protect against um, early signs of aging at all costs. And this line, it's so simple. That was three steps for morning. And in the night, instead of using SPF, because you're not going to see the sun, um, you use this instead. And it's a night treatment. Gives you a second infusion of our beauty, the, the anti-aging properties that are in every single one of these products. This is going to give you an extra boost of it at night. And the ingredients that power this are um, encapsulated resveratrol, vitamin B3, and age-defying peptide. Now, what these fancy schmancy ingredients do, um, we just remember it like the ABCs. The A, the antioxidants, um, are going to fight the free radicals. That's the pollution in the air, all your um, environmental factors, um, SPF, all that sort of a thing. Um, are the the uh, time-wise 3D um, age fighting stuff that's in here has triple antioxidant benefits, helps support your skin barrier. Um, this will also with your ABCs. That was your A for antioxidants. B is brightening, and um, that's going to leave your skin feeling looking radiant. Um, it's going to help fight against dark spots, um, and it's going to help promote a more even skin tone. And then our C is collagen. You know, we start to lose collagen in our 20s, about 1% a year. And when you are the age that I am, which is way older than 20, that's a lot of collagen that I uh, would be losing. So we are going to support your natural collagen. Um, and this is going to be amazing to help your skin look more plump and radiant. We don't want sagging skin, that sort of a thing. We're going to keep it plump and firm. So that's wonderful. So um, I love, love, love this line so much. That's product number one. The second product is something that's going to help um, even make your skin look more smooth when you add it in two to three times a week. And that is our Microdermabrasion um, Plus set. The first step is the Microdermabrasion Refine. There are crystals inside this. It's like you're going to give, it's kind of like a scrub. After you wash, you're going to just buff down the dead skin, get it off your face. Because when your pores are unclogged, free of that 
dead skin that sticks around on your face, like, like stuck like a magnet. We want to buff that off. That way, the smooth, healthy skin underneath can be more radiant. Our complexion is smoother and our pores then can appear less large when they're not clogged up. So we're going to get that, get that gone. And it's absolutely amazing, high quality ingredients, um, just like you would find at a med spa. So this is so amazing. Then we have, uh, it's partnered with the pore minimizer and this product, once your, your, your pores are clear of the debris, this helps to calm down. It's very soothing, very calm down your pore walls so they can shrink back up and they will look less large. So if you have, um, uneven skin, kind of rough skin, it's not very smooth or your pores are really big. This is going to be phenomenal for you. That's my number two. My number three is, um, something that whoopsie, a lot of my ladies swear by, um, and it is the replenishing serum C plus E. I, if you notice, I've dropped like 17 things today. Okay. It's because they're slicky. My little pages are slicky. Okay. This pumper is tremendous. Let me explain this. It pairs two super antioxidants, vitamin C and vitamin E. Um, they the daily use will deliver firmer, brighter, glowing, good skin to your face. So the pure, there's like a couple different kinds of vitamin C. There's pure vitamin C in there that is going to support your skin's natural repair process. Our skin can heal itself if we like let it. And this will help you help it do that. It'll help support natural collagen production. It's got vitamin E in it that, oh my goodness, it's so um, nourishing for your face. It's very like um, emollient. So very hydrating. Um, it has amla fruit extract. Now that is an uh, high in antioxidants that are capable of helping pr protect your, your skin and help again, um, enhance collagen production. It also has oil soluble vitamin C as opposed to just water soluble vitamin C. Um, and that is going to help you absorb all of that good age fighting that is in not just this product, but whatever you're going to put on right after this product too. So this is like a super booster and it's an airtight container. You pump it from the top and the bottom keeps coming up until it's gone. So you can see how much you have left. And it even gives you like how many weeks you have left before you run out. So you're never out of it. I love it so much. Finally, we have the charcoal mask. Oh, this is delicious. My oily face loves this product. This helps with um, its activated charcoal, which can absorb twice its weight in um, impurities. So with all that oil that's in your skin, it can absorb it. It draws out bacteria and debris from your pores and you wear it for, for like 15 to 20 minutes. It is beautiful, like gray color. It tightens. It's all weird and wonderful. And then you wash it off with warm water and all that debris and excess oil comes with it. Not only that, but it has ingredients like navy bean extract, which can help even your skin tone. I have super pinky cheeks. And when I use this, like I look normal, <laughs> looking normal, normal's not usually my flow, but I like to look normal whenever I can. Um, or, or just like better than normal. So this really helps me do that. Love, love, love this product. So those are one, two, three, four of my five products. The final one, y'all, it is travel season. And this is how I'm going to transition over to Beth. This is the travel roll-up bag. It will fit every single product I just talked about, plus all your feminine hygiene products, deodorant, toothbrush, hairbrush, and anything else you love all from your bathroom. Now it has this cute handle. I have lots of flight attendants and pilots in my community. They love this bag. It Velcroed closed and can roll down. The hanger buttons in so it won't catch on anything in your luggage. And it can hang on a hook or on a bar, which it hangs 360. So wh whatever you have in the bathroom, it will hang flat on the wall. I have used a janky one in the past before I Mary Kate, which actually fell off and broke some of my items inside because it wasn't secure to the wall. This will not have that problem. Four zippered pouches. Did I mention I love this bag? They all Velcro off. 
so that when you, like me, go on girlfriend weekends or Mary Kay events, um, and you want, you're getting ready in the bathroom, but then you want to do your makeup in the other room, you just pull it off and take it with you and someone else can use the bathroom. I have used, I have pulled this off and taken it in um, a taxi with me to do my makeup in the car all the time, all the time, y'all. And then when you're ready to travel, you button that down and you roll it back up. Ta-da! A travel roll-up bag. So spectacular. I want you guys all to ask your consultant how in the world you can get your hands on these goodies. Um, Mary Kay has some really amazing deals, and I bet these are going to knock your socks off at a price point that you're like, that's a no-brainer. Let's do it. So that's my five and five. And now Beth's going to talk to you more about more traveling. Woohoo! Thank you, Faith. Okay. I am going to share with you the five things that you absolutely want with you if you're traveling. I'm actually leaving tomorrow on a little trip with my husband, and these are things that are going in my bag. So number one is a travel size skincare set. So if you're flying, you don't want to check your bags, but you want to bring your good skincare, all of our skincare lines come in what we call go sets. So the set that Faith just shared comes in a go set. Our new Mary Kay skincare, which is great for uh, women ages about 15 to 25, has a go set. Our Clear Proof line, our acne line, has a go set. And then our TimeWise Repair, which is for more advanced signs of aging, has a go set. So this one of these for sure is going in my travel bag. The other thing that's great about this is if you've never tried any of the skincare and you kind of just want to give it a give it a run for a couple of weeks, a go set is a great way to go if you don't want to purchase an entire full size set. So that's my number one. Love these so much. So um, if you're watching this as a consultant, you want to make sure you've got a couple of these just for you because it's never fun when you don't have one on your shelf. And then for customers, such a great thing for summer to have on your travel. Okay, second thing you're going to want to in your travel bag is our new Mary Kay Facial Mineral Sunscreen. This creates a physical block between your face and the sun. It does not have any chemicals in it. Uh, the active ingredient is zinc oxide. Back in the old days, it was like looked white, like this thick layer of white on your face and it blocked the sun. This absorbs, you can't see it. It's light, it's not heavy, um, it is not greasy. It's amazing. You want this SPF 30 facial sunscreen, mineral facial sunscreen. Okay, then the other thing you want, you want some waterproof mascara. We've got lots of mascaras. Uh, all of the other ones are water resistant. So you can, you can, you can cry in them, but you can't like swim in them. This, you can cry, you can swim, you can do a triathlon. Love this mascara, but a waterproof mascara is something that maybe you don't wear all the time, but you wear when you are maybe take going on a trip that you're a little more active. Um, the other thing you can do, you can take waterproof, put it over your other mascara and turn it waterproof. So you can put on maybe your ultimate mascara or your fanorama and put this over the top. So waterproof mascara, number three. Um, number four, CC cream, our complexion corrector product. This has so many benefits. It acts as a complexion corrector. So it smooths out, evens out your skin tone. It's got an SPF of 15. It's a hydrator. So you can get your hydration, your concealer, your um, SPF. It takes redness out of your skin. People love this. This is such a fun summertime product that a lot of people love if they want to do a little less in the summer. CC cream. And then I have one final one on my list that you're just going to want. It is our finishing spray spritz this over your face after you've put your makeup on. It's going to hold it in place. So if you are at Disney World and you, you know, want to put a little bit of makeup on, but you want to ride a water ride or you want to ride, you know, you're going to be out active. This is going to hold it in place. The Mary Kay finishing spray. So good. So good. Woo! So many fun things that you want to have in your possession as you prepare for the summer. Well, I'm going to turn it back over to Faith, who is going to take just a couple of minutes to share some fun, fast tips on our Mary Kay business opportunity. 
Awesome. Thank you, Beth. I'm curious, where is the most exciting place you've ever worn your finishing spray? I'll give you a second to think about that. I, For me, I, I wore it rock climbing and I normally would not wear makeup going rock climbing, but I wanted to test it. So I did a full face of makeup. You can, you could tell that I had worked out, but everything was still where it was. And I was like, no <laughs> all right, how about you? Where was the most exciting place you wore that? You know what? I wore it on a Mary Kay event at Universal Studios in Florida when we had the opportunity to earn a party at Universal Studios. And it was kind of cold and kind of misty, rainy. Well, it was just a little damp, um, but we yeah. were out riding rides and yep, face looked great at the end of the night. Fantastic. But yeah, Universal Studios in Orlando. Awesome. And in, and there, the, it's so muggy. You just never know what the weather is going to do. So I love that. Okay. Well, you guys, it is my pleasure to um, talk to you guys a little bit about um, some of the beautiful things Mary Kay has to offer. Even if you are like never in a million years, Faith, would I ever do something like Mary Kay? It's okay. You don't, it's not for everyone. We get that. It could be for anyone, but it's not for everyone. And that's all right. But hearing um, what we have to offer just might um, encourage you in making Mary Kay a staple in your life and to continue, it might encourage you to continue to support, support, continue to support your consultant, but also it might come to mind when you hear a friend who's struggling, who needs an opportunity like we have in Mary Kay. And so you could actually be a great resource for other people by knowing this information. Now, a lot of times I would start off by talking to you about some of my favorite things about Mary Kay. Um, the fact that we have a satisfaction guarantee, that if you actually bought these things and that tra travel roll-up bag didn't knock your socks off, that you could exchange it for anything else of equal value. Um, you never have a makeup mistake or a purchase mistake in Mary Kay. Um, I love that about our company. I love that we're super eco-friendly and, and have zero landfill status at our, our headquarters and that um, we have sustainable packaging, like our packaging peanuts are, are biodegradable and we plant a million trees to return to the earth what we're using out of it. Love it. Love all those things. I love that we have a charitable foundation that um, uh, raises money to end um, domestic violence and to find cures for cancers that affect women. Um, if you're if you are really looking for a company um, to support or to become part of that has a huge heart, Mary Kay is home for you. But today I want to do something different. I want I want to actually ask you guys um, to grab a piece of paper. I didn't warn you in advance. Just grab a piece of paper. If you're watching the recording of this, go ahead and pause me <laughs> and uh, grab a piece of paper because I want you I want you to just make a list. I want you to do a little self assessment. Um, I have been um, looking into Strengths Finders. It's a it's a self evaluation tool to kind of figure out where what you're gifted at and um, where you know it kind of tells you about yourself. I love all those things. I love Myers Briggs and all the good all the goodies. But I want you to make a um, little Mary Kay at the top, but three columns and under one put current skills. Um, under two, uh, uh, the second column put skills to grow, and under three put disqualifies me. So the first column, I just want you to take stock of yourself for a second. From what you know of yourself and what you think would make a really good Mary Kay person or someone who would do a direct sales company in our skincare and cosmetics, right? The, the, the skills you have right now that you think would make you good at this in column number one. And again, if you're watching the recording, pause this and take some time to do this and then start again. Number two, because I'm going to share mine with all of these things real in a quick second. In the second, so skills to grow. These are the things that you think you need at, as like if you were to do Mary Kay that you don't you don't possess right now. So we can we can fill this out. What skill would you absolutely need to learn, or whatever, right here? And then over here disqualifies me. What if you're someone who's like I could never do this? Why? What disqualifies you from doing Mary Kay? Okay. I'm going to be super vulnerable with you all right now and share with you what my lists looked like when I was considering Mary Kay, because I am um, uh, married to a pastor. We have an incredibly busy life. 
And um, with both of us working full time, I really felt like I was getting gypped out of the um, mom department, <laughs> like all the mom experiences, I wasn't getting able, able to have nearly as many of them as I wanted. Um, and, uh, but I had a job that I loved working in nonprofits. My whole life has been a nonprofit um, career uh, in youth ministry. I have four kids. Um, they are currently um, a senior and sophomore heading into their senior and sophomore year in high school. And then I have an eighth grader and a, or a seventh grader and a fourth grader coming up here after the summer. Um, so they're big now, but my fourth grader, she was one when I started Mary Kay. And so um, the older ones remember a working mom. The younger one, well, she just remembers a stay-at-home mom. In fact, uh, to this day, if you ask her what she wants to be when she grows up, she says a mom and a Mary Kay lady. <laughs> Very sweet. We will see if she still wants to be me when she's a teenager. But um, when I started uh, when someone presented to me the idea of being in Mary Kay, this list, um, the the things that I'm good at that would make me good at this job, I did have some things there. Now, a lot of ladies have a hard time with this column. I, I had a decent sense of self, so I knew that I was very social. I'm very outgoing. I love to meet new people. I can strike up a conversation with someone in a grocery store line. That's kind of my personality. So I figured that was a personality um, uh, uh quality, that could make me good at doing something like this. So I, I put that down here on this column. Um, I also knew that I was uh, uh, good at public speaking. It was part of my job. So I didn't like sweat bullets. I sweated. I was nervous, but I could do it. I could overcome that push through and by nature was pretty decent at that. So I put that down here as well. And then um, I, um, my mom was a really good hostess. She knew how to like gather people and bring them together. And so growing up, I just, I was really good at hosting events. And as in youth ministry, I could host a really good youth ministry event where everybody had fun, probably didn't start on time, but everyone had a good time there. And so I knew that I was good at social things and people had a good time around me and learning my strengths Two uh, in strength finders. They tell you your five strengths. Two of mine are, one is called woo, it's where people have a good time. You, you, have a, you have a fun, bubbly personality. This is something I'm good at by nature. And second, um, communication. So being able to speak to people and communicate concepts, that's another natural skill. So those were on my list. But then there was this list, and it was much longer. Reasons I would stink at Mary Kay is the subtitle for the skills I need to grow list. And it was very long. I'm late to almost everything I do uh, my whole life. I had to go to afternoon kindergarten. We had half day kindergarten morning or afternoon. <laughs> I had to go to afternoon kindergarten because my mom couldn't get me up and going in the morning. So I'm, I'm like habitually late. Um, I, I, uh, I had to write them down because I knew I'd get nervous. See, um, I'm not super detail oriented by nature. Okay. I can handle a lot of details, but it's not my natural disposition. In fact, once I was holding a, an event at church, it was a dinner. We were going to make a spig it was a spaghetti feed. I got all the grocery shopping done. I did it with my personal shopping. I got my personal groceries in the car and drove home and left all the other ingredients for the dinner underneath the cart. And they were taken by a homeless person. They saw it on the, on the, um, the video surveillance. Like where did these $200 worth of groceries go? Yeah, they were taken by homeless people. So at least I got to feed homeless people, but guess what? I had to order pizza for 20 guests that I was having an event for. So dinner was late. Um, and, uh, but guess what? We all had a really, really good time and people were just like, oh, faith. They just knew that about my personality that I'm very absent-minded sometimes. How do you forget $200 worth of groceries? I don't know. I found a way. Um, so I knew these things about me and I'm like, there's no way in God's green earth I'm going to be able to do this business. This is horrible. Like I am very bad at details. That's what I would tell myself. I'm a, I'm bad at details. I'm bad at getting places on time. I'm bad at remembering things. I don't even know how to do makeup. So forget the skills to do a business. I don't know how to do makeup. And I'm, I'm really bad at acne. I'm like, who, who in their right mind would buy skincare from someone covered in pimples? These were, they, all of those negatives were actually on my disqualifies me list. 
because I thought to myself, who in their right mind would trust me with this? Who would who would buy anything from me? Here's what I learned. Ha- almost all of the things I had on my, this got to disqualify me from being able to do this business, right? Like they're not going to let me sign up, right? Actually, they were mostly fears. It was mostly fears. My fears getting in the way. And I know fear in life. I know what it's like to be riddled with fear. And I don't live that way. I choose not to live that way. So when I realized that a lot of this was fear, not fact, I was able to put that in the category of things I'm going to have to get over in order to be good at this business. And that was a little bit able, better uh, handleable for me. However, there were a lot of things here that were actually deficits for me. Not showing up on time is a bad business practice. It's not being a woman of your word. It's it's stressful and it's not a way to grow a good business. But Beth, who trained me up and helped me realize what my list balance really looked like versus what I fe- feared it looked like, she helped me to see, she asked me, Faith, do you like that about yourself? It's a great question. Do you like that about yourself? I'm bad at getting places on time. Do you like that about yourself? No, who likes that about themselves? Zero people like that about themselves. So I am, she said, then that is something that you can grow to be better at. Might always be a struggle, but you can, that's a skill you can learn. Arriving somewhere on time is just about prior planning. That's a skill that's learnable. So it went from, this list over here to this list. Um, And then every single thing I thought disqualified myself moved over to the skills I could grow. And then I, and then I looked at this and it was, it was like a, a, a kind challenge to myself. Do you want to, do you want to get better as a human? Do you want to be more reliable for everybody, not just in your business, but for the rest of life too? And I was like, I actually think I would like to get better at that. I don't like that about myself, and I, I, but I'm not actively working to solve that problem now. When I joined Mary Kay, it was for a slew of reasons, mostly to be able to be flexible, to be home with my, my family. And then eventually that turned into wanting to be able to make things happen financially for my family. But really taking care of the list, things that would disqualify me from being good at really anything, I wanted to work on that list. So I... I went for it and became very good at handling details. It is not my nature, but I can do it. I just have to be intentional about it. I figured out how to do these things that I was bad at so well that when I wanted to ramp up my business, I could. I got real good at those skills real quick. I, when I wanted to turn up the heat on my business, I went from being a consultant to tripling my income in 10 months. I earned a car in seven months. Um, these were all skills. There's no way in God's green earth I would have been able to do at the beginning of my business before Mary Kay. They're all things I learned how to do and still have to be super intentional in order to do it well. But guess what? I can't. I can do it. I have those skills. And when I'm intentional about it, I got this. So what I have learned is that there are some things in this category, the things that would disqualify you from being successful at this business. They're small and I bet they're not on your list. Okay. Number one would be um, that you are an unlawful, unethical person. If you're going to cheat on your taxes, if you're going to claim things that you didn't actually do, if you're going to pretend like you gave away product instead of selling it so that you don't have to pay as much tax, this is a bad business for you. Just skip, skip us, skip right over us um, because we work with high ethics and morals. Now, sometimes we make mistakes in tracking things that happens to anyone, but not intentionally. So if you are an unlawful or, or immoral person in your business practices, this is going to be bad. Bad fit. Um, Second is if you actually hate people, not if you're nervous to talk to them, not if you get exhausted when you put energy into that. That means you're introverted. That is actually what I have learned is actually a skill because you tend to shine the spotlights on others, making them feel special rather than hogging the spotlight for yourself. That's actually a business skill. But I'm talking about if you actually don't like people, 
if you gossip about them behind their back and, and um, are just like, oh my gosh, I just want to punch her in the face right now all the time. Like that, it's going to be real hard for you to do a business where we're supposed to encourage and boost women up. So again, you might just skip over this business if you really just don't like people. Okay. Um, again, not if you're shy, that's fine. That's great, actually. Um, but if you actually have hate in your heart for other humans that have done nothing wrong to you, like that, that pass, different opportunity would be better. And then finally, if you're unwilling to learn a new skill, because every single person who's come in to Mary Kay, even those who have gone into sell, sell, sell millions and millions of dollars of product, they all have a list of things they needed to learn coming into the business. And I guarantee you, they all still have this list because no one's perfect. We all have this list. The list might change over time, but this list is long for everybody. But if you are unwilling to actually try to grow, this business will be hard for you because we all have this list. So if you're, you, if you, try to be moral <laughs> even if you struggle if you at least try and if you um generally don't hate people you enjoy them and, and you'd love to make someone feel special and um you're willing to work on your if you're like me very long list of skills you need to build to get into this business um then there is nothing that in your disqualifies you list so I'm going to encourage you to think through this. Make your list of skills you have and be honest with yourself. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Make a list of skills. What would make you good at this, right? And then, and then make a list. What would you need to learn in order to be good at this? What are you by nature gifted at that would be good? And what would you really need to learn in order to be good at this? Share the, the two lists with your consultant, okay? Get it to her today before you go to bed or tell her today when you're going to get that list to her um, and, and talk it over with her. Ask her what her experience has been like coming into Mary Kay. What was she already good at and what skills has she realized she needs to learn? Um, have that fun conversation. You'll get to know uh, her a little bit better. She'll get to know you a little bit better and you guys can grow in, in friendship and understanding. Um, and then, you know what, you might actually see, could this, could this be something that was good for me? Could this be an option for me now in the future or for someone I know? So I'm going to encourage you to message your consultant. Also give her a letter. If you think, you know what, there, there's nothing I couldn't learn with the right training and Mary Kay's full of training. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign up. Let's just do this. Let's just do it. Tell her you're an A. A okay, we're on the way. Let's go, let's sign up. A B is that's really interesting. But I need to, I might need to talk through my list and I might have some questions. That's a B, right? And then third is C. A C is I'm gonna be a c -c -c customer for life. Um, but thank you so much for for having this conversation with me. Okay. So text her A, B, or C and your list. Or if you want to take more time to think this list over, tell her what time and day you will have this to her so that you guys can follow up with a conversation. So it'll be great training for her. And it'll be really great for you to kind of process through your own mind and self um, in this whole journey of self-discovery that we will continue to do like every day of our lives. So thank you very much for listening to me, um, Hot Mess Express. Uh, with some skills and a lot to learn who's um, who's actually making a way in Mary Kay. And so I hope that inspires some of you. And I look forward to seeing more of your faces on more of these things anytime. Take care.